Welcome to a step-by-step -step guide for people who want to learn the ins and outs of using the MetaQuest 3 goggles. In today's video, you'll learn the best settings to consider when you first turn on the device, how to adjust the strap on your head, and adjust the lenses to our eyes. We'll also show you why it's so important to download the app to your phone, and how to connect the Quest straight to your computer or TV. Of course, leave something behind in the comments below the video, we like to see your response. First. Take the goggles out of the box. Inside, you will find the Quest, controllers, cables with a charger, and instructions. The Quest has volume buttons, a connector for the dock, lens adjustment, and an audio mini jack. To turn on the device, press and hold the small button on the side panel located under the charging jack for approximately two seconds. The controllers will vibrate and the goggles will light up. To correctly put on the Quest, begin by loosely placing it on your head. Next, grab the straps at the back and pull them downwards until you feel them securing comfortably, then gently tug in the opposite direction. At the top, there is an easily accessible Velcro strap that can be released similarly. The handles located on both sides can be raised or lowered slightly. Inside the Quest, there is a button to adjust the depth of the fabric cushions. Pressing the adjustment button once will move it by one of four increments, ensuring the goggles fit perfectly. Let's proceed to adjust the lenses. Quest 3 offers a wide range of adjustments through the rotation of a wheel located at the device's base. Rotate the adjustment wheel until the selected object is clearly visible or legible. Now let's move on to the controllers. Their sleek design conceals standard batteries included by the manufacturer. If replacements are required, the side cover can be easily removed. Let's take a look at the buttons. The concave button on the right controller is responsible for accessing the system menu. Additionally, we have the joystick and action buttons utilized for application functions. The top trigger buttons on the outer walls positioned under the index finger are used for confirming actions, much alike the left mouse button on a computer. Meanwhile, the bottom buttons are intended for grabbing objects. The concave button on the left controller is reserved for calling up menus and applications. The first time we switch on the goggles, they will prompt us to log in to Meta. We'll need an app on our phone. Beforehand, it's important to connect both the goggles and phone to the local network. In the app, we select pairing with a new device, choosing Quest 3 in this case. After some time, a code appears on the goggles that we need to enter on the phone. From that point on, the Quest is connected to our Meta account and the app, and we can start using it. It's time for our initial VR setup. We'll execute each action using the laser pointer from our controller. We create our zone which can be a fixed perimeter with a small circle or an all-room option, where we select the goggles area's configuration. Quest 3 can also investigate the space itself and aid us in determining the area's dimensions. We can add virtual boundaries to our furniture to avoid damaging it when using the controller. The goggles camera will turn on and alert us when we leave the boundary zone. Alternatively, we can activate the camera by tapping on the goggle side. This option can be found in the settings. By going back to the settings, clicking on the left-hand bar near the battery and clock, we can access a fast menu with virtual controls for volume and brightness, as well as various tiles for quick settings. In the upper corner, we navigate to the actual settings, where we can modify the vibration of the controllers, select notification preferences, and choose whether we want a 120 Hz video refresh or vertical video recording. The app can be downloaded via the Explore app, and the bar can be summoned anytime with the concave button on the right. It's recommended to have a mobile app connection when recording videos or taking photos with the Quest. Synchronizing with the goggles enables fast capture of multimedia, which can then be easily uploaded to the phone. The image from the goggles can also be transmitted to the phone in real time. For efficient transmission of images to a TV or monitor, we recommend purchasing a Chromecast device. Access the camera and transmission tab to connect to the device. Once connected, choose the desired screen and send the target image. No prior pairing with the goggles is necessary. A regular local network will suffice. 
The Quest device allows for easy connection to a computer, enabling you to expand your game collection with titles from platforms like Steam. To establish this connection, you will require a USB-C cable and a downloaded version of the Quest program on your computer. However, we suggest using the AirLink mode for wireless access, which is more straightforward. To enable AirLink, all you need is a local network and the aforementioned Quest application installed on your computer. Simply activate the AirLink option within Quest to establish a successful connection. After the goggles locate the computer, we connect to it and confirm the pairing on both devices. Following this, the PC VR lobby provides us with a list of games. It is compulsory to install Steam VR on the computer if we want to use it with the goggles. Our guide on operating MetaQuest 3 has concluded. Thank you for joining us and making use of our tutorial. We will see you in our upcoming materials.